Good day to you all. Another beautiful day here in Yorkshire. Of course it's Yorkshire. Why any better? Why would it be any better? So today I thought I'd show you uh, one of my biggest and best fossils. Pretty rare ammonite by any means. It's not the rarest, but you know, everybody does look out for them. It's huge. Biggest I've ever found as far as Yorkshire material goes. Got a few other specimens of the same same type just to show you the sheer size of it. You know what a normal sized one you usually find looks like. I can't see a thing here, it's absolutely blinding. But yeah, I'll show you some of them really, really good ammonites. Even had a stand made for this one because it was just that big. There were no little plastic uh, plastic display shelves that I could get for it. So I had to have one designed. Luckily, my old man's an engineer, so he sorted me out with that. So cheers, Dad. Yeah, so I'll show you them now. So this is the uh, first type of those species. It's called a, uh, a Phyloceros heterophyllum. It was a really deep dwelling ammonite, which is why they don't come, you don't tend to find that many. They're still fairly, you know, I, I wouldn't call them common. I'd just go as far as to say uncommon more than anything. You know, they do show up, but not really often. Usually you can see all the suture marks. That's here, they were the... Uh, these were the fractal patterns in the internal gas chambers that they had for the buoyancy. See, this is more of a, I mean, even this is probably on a bit of a bigger, bigger size than usual. I mean, what, this is probably four inch, five inch. Nice sized ammonite, really worn around the keel. But these are absolutely brilliant ammonites to see. They're absolutely quality. This one sits in the collection nicely. Yeah, these are really good, really good ammonites. I'll show you a much smaller one now that I've polished up to uh, reveal all the calcite structure that's inside of them. So yeah, I'll show you that now. So again, exactly the same species, still Phyloceros heterophyllum. But I polished all the shell off, just using standard sandpaper to reveal all the uh, calcite structure that's inside of the internal buoyancy chambers. As you can see, I mean, it glistens. Absolutely fantastic. It's not complete, which is why I did it. I don't tend to like polishing stuff, but didn't really have much choice in the matter with this one. Here is where uh, it would have gone all the way around here. So there's still some calcite in there too that glistens and shines. Still got a little middle, which is all right. But I just enjoy the uh, the calcite in this. It's fantastic. It looks really, really nice in the sun, especially in the sun, actually. Looks lovely. So uh, now I'll show you the, the big lad. I'm not gonna handle this because it weighs an absolute ton and I don't wanna drop it, don't wanna break it. It was uh, hard work. I'll take the story behind that in a minute of, uh, of how bad that was to get it, get that where, from where I found it. That was hard work getting that back up the cliffs. So yeah, I'll show you that now. This is big, really big. So as you can see there, just in comparison to the, this other two, it's huge. Big metal stand I had my dad make. Sits nice and proudly on that. This is an absolute monster of an ammonite. Unfortunately, when I got it out, I still need to paint all the paint some bits up. But when I got it out, obviously pieces had fractured. I found it in uh, in some in a big shale block that was just starting to re be revealed from the uh, the waves crashing and hitting into it. So I got quite lucky with that was the underside actually that I saw at first, but that's an absolute state. I mean, as you can see, it's just absolutely knackered, wasn't really worthwhile. So I'll pick this up. There is a section missing here, which I may go back to at some point, but at the time I didn't want to polyfill all of that up because it would take forever. So I just decided to uh, just stick some Dax on, make it look a little bit more, uh, bit more arty and fancy for once, but yeah. An absolute beast of an ammonite. Where I found this, which I'll tell you in a minute, was awkward getting it up. I mean, I think this is 14 or 15 inches. I mean, you can see by the size of... I mean, I haven't got very big hands, but this thing is absolutely humongous. It is absolutely ridiculous. Nice pyrite up here. Maybe I'll put it up in the sun and put it out in the sun in a minute just to show you. But yeah, really, really nice piece. This this sits at, sits at the... Uh, the full point of my collection. This will never leave my collection unless I find something more more bigger and better than this. So yeah, I'll tell you the story about that in a moment. So I found that at a wonderful place called Ravenscar here in Yorkshire. 
it's not for the faint-hearted the place the cliffs are very 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 steep it's a it's a fair hog walk down it's not fun walking back up that at all and when you find that along with you know a, a lot of other material that i put in my bag my bag was full that day that walk back up was horrific and i mean absolutely horrific i must have stopped 12 13 times walking back up there that wasn't fun got it all back up luckily all in well mostly in one piece well mostly in one piece obviously I had to glue a lot of bits back together but it was uh, definitely worth the walk that was some that was some hard work that was that day still not found anything even remotely big the biggest I've come close to that's like a seven inch hildy and that's it there's nothing being bigger than that I mean Yorkshire I you don't tend to find that big anyway usually most on average the biggest you're gonna find six inches you might get lucky with a seven inch hildy i know that you can obviously get a few other ammonites from down in other lo other locations that can get to that can get to like 10 inch 11 inch but that's the biggest i've found so far i know some other lads have got bigger than way bigger than mine so yeah that was uh, that was a hard day's work that was but that was well worth it brilliant day i'm happy with that i'll always be happy with that nothing's ever gonna top that so yeah, hope you all enjoyed that one. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. What's the biggest ammonite you've ever found? Or fossil in general, to be honest. I'm interested to see, you know, where people are in, in the world subscribing and watching my videos. So yeah, have a good day, guys. Hope you all enjoy.